We've all been there, either due to overconfidence, stupidity, or just sheer bad luck and had to rock the crutches. Well, at some point in time, while wearing crutches, you're done with them, and you don't ever want to see them again, and you just need to throw them away. What you need now is a cane. It'll help you get through those pesky stairs and uh, hobble on through till you completely heal. All right, so again, me measuring the cane, where you want to be is you want your, your arm to just not straight, but flex about 15 degrees. So, so in this, from your elbow out, about 15 degrees. And you, you, want, you want it to hit um, this spot on your wrist. So you can try to do it from here and try to figure out like where and measure down. But the best way to do it is make sure you're wearing shoes and then turn it upside down and you're gonna measure again not not straight armed you're gonna kick it up about 15 degrees and so for me that mark would be right there so that means that I need to take off so say that much of this particular cane so and then um, as you can see uh, maybe you can't here let me show you as you can maybe see here some bunny has been using this without a rubber tip um, which is a super safety no-no and will cause you to land on your ass and screw your hip or knee or whatever it is you got going on worse so you, you're gonna want to put a rubber tip on there not not just a nail um, but but a rubber tip all right so understand I'm not a hand model but where we're where we're measuring to is not the uh, oven rack burn from making the apple pie it's to this point the bend in the wrist right where the thumb I guess terminates and so that's where we're gonna measure measure to for uh, for the cane I've marked the cane where I'm gonna cut it off and also where I'm gonna notch it so that the rubber tip sits in seamlessly after I cut off the end of the cane I use the same saw to drop in a uh, eighth inch or so groove into the cane I want to pause just a minute and talk about um, this particular cane. So this, uh, believe it or not, is an oak um, bent kind of shepherd's crook cane that was my grandfather's that I inherited when he passed in 1982. Um, it was one of those things, last memory sort of things. And every time I've used crutches or had surgery or hurt myself out of, out of accident or stupidity, in the intervening years I've used this cane. Um, I never trimmed it and I probably should have. So I'm gonna take this opportunity. Note, note that, I mean, it's not, it's got a little, got a little bend in it. It's, it's not the, uh, the high end of the cane world. I'm sure it was bought, you know, in 1980, 1981, it, God, God forbid Walmart, but somewhere like that. But it's, uh, it's solid oak. Um, it was his, stood the test of time. I guess now it's time to make it my own and maybe my grandchildren, great-grandchildren, somebody when they do something stupid <laughs> will get to use it. So I'd been thinking about some complicated schemes and how to put this on the lathe and use the bandsaw and put the notches in and that sort of thing, but in truth this is front porch work that you can do in a couple hours with just some simple hand tools. All right, so I've sanded it. I've got the grooves in, and I sanded it down with some 120. Um, I went in the shop and I picked up some 220 and some 320. So I'm gonna hit it with 220, and then I'm gonna put some walnut oil on. This is the same stuff I use when I finish bowls and stuff on the lathe, um, and that will uh, that'll both protect it and make it kind of look nice and return it to that original, um, the, the original look. Now, I didn't sand the crook as much as I possibly could have. Um, part of it's because it's already smooth after using it for so many years. And then the other part is, maybe there's some part of my grandfather <laughs> left on the crook. So I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna sand that. I sanded a couple of little sections, but, but nothing major. So I'm gonna go ahead and put um, uh, some, some 220 sandpaper on it, get it smooth, and then I'm gonna oil it, let the oil soak in for four or five hours. I'm gonna lightly sand it with the 320 and then a second coat of the walnut oil and it should be done. After all the walnut oil and everything, then I'll put the tip on. All right. 
and on goes the oil i can't i can't say enough about this it's a walnut oil base and it's phenomenal for everything i've ever used it on all right sanded 220 um, oil soaked in pretty good and uh, i think it turned out really nice it really deepened the color and shows the grain really really well on this cane i i'm going to be proud to carry this for as long as uh, i need it with uh, with my latest incident <laughs> And afternoon project done, off to see the world. Um, hopefully I won't have to use the cane for a long while, but if I do, at least it fits now.